Welcome back everybody to the official channel of home of games We finally got the brand new Thanos skin inside of the item shop as you can see I'm rocking him right now and to help celebrate the release of Thanos We got yet another Thanos joke to start off the video. What is Thanos's favorite social media? Snapchat! You get it? Because apparently Thanos loves to snap and then Snapchat, obviously it's got snap in the name. If you hopped in a time machine right now and went back exactly 320 days into the past, that would be the exact day where Fortnite Mobile was removed from the App Store. Fast forward to May 3rd of 2021 and Epic Games as well as Apple finally met inside of the courtroom and what followed was a two-week absolute insane back and forth war but now the war is coming to an end with the trial now being 100% over we are just waiting on the judge to deliver her verdict before we get into the video don't forget I'm hooking up as many subscribers as possible throughout the first month of season 7 with the new season 7 battle pass right now on your screen there's a code for each and every single console if you're the first one to redeem it congratulations go and spend those V bucks on whatever you want if you already have the battle pass don't worry i can send you a skin or whatever you want out of the item shop as well seriously if you're not subscribed could you please hit that subscribe button man epic games needs our support right now more than ever from the fortnite community so to give epic games some good luck make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video we've wasted too much time we're on fortnite mobile ready to talk about fortnite mobile so let's get into a game and let's get into it on May 3rd, 2021, the trial finally began. After two weeks of arguing, the trial then came to a close. Apple claimed that Epic Games broke their terms of service purposefully by implementing their very own payment gateway into the game, which would allow Fortnite players to get their V-Bucks for 30% cheaper. Meanwhile, Epic Games claimed that Apple's 30% developer fee that they charged for every single app on the App Store was not only anti-competitive, but also monopolistic. Both had many, many very good reasons to support their argument throughout the entire court trial. Apple literally threw Epic Games' very own words back at them, saying that Epic Games was literally tearing apart children's friendships by not conforming to Apple's rules, which they had already previously agreed to. While Epic Games was arguing the entire time that the 30% developer fee that Epic Games charged for literally everything is totally wrong and actually a Illegal. Epic Games actually did such a good job at trying to prove their points that they were actually able to find a document from Apple all the way back in 2010 that appeared to be a literal outline for Apple and their entire plan to create a massive monopoly over the next 10 years. On the very, very final day of the trial, the judge, which is the person making the very, very final decision in all of this, came out and hit Epic Games with an absolute bomb. The judge actually accused accused Epic Games of starting this lawsuit for the sole purpose of trying to take their company from a company worth a couple billion dollars to a company worth a couple trillion dollars. That was a massive claim, essentially claiming that Epic Games doesn't care about their players at all, and instead they only care about money. Epic Games obviously denied this and said that they were fighting for all developers around the world, and not simply just fighting for themselves. Whether or not you believe Epic Games when they say this is, well, a up to you. Actually, no, it's not up to you at all. It's actually up to the judge to decide. If you want to get caught up on all 14 days of this trial, since in this video, we're only going to be focusing on the future and the verdict of this whole entire ordeal, make sure you go check out the other videos I made on the topic where I break down each and every single day and what went on in the trial. Uh oh, boys, we got enemies right here. Enemies right here. Where are they? Oh, there he is. There he is. Yes, my first mobile elimination. Let's go. Now, here we go for my second mobile elimination. Are you ready? Oh, my goodness. I suck. My teammate saved me, man. Thank the Lord for my teammate. Thank you, homie. The only remaining thing left to happen in this trial is we're waiting for the judge to deliver her verdict. And if you don't know what a verdict is, it is essentially the final opinion or judgment, the deciding factor, the most important opinion that happens at the very, very end of a court case or lawsuit, similar to what we see here. Separate from the verdict, we have some bad news for Apple. Before the trial came to a close, the judge actually told told Apple that it may actually be illegal to run and operate the App Store as they are 
in the state of California. Not sure why only the state of California that the app store would be illegal or be doing something that isn't legal, but apparently that's the case. It is possible that one of the outcomes for this trial is actually Apple not having to change anything about the app store except in the state of California, which is pretty interesting. But once again, that is separate from the actual verdict. The judge also came out to say something that was semi-concerning about where she actually stands in this entire thing. She reported that she feels like a little bit of a stepping stone in the battle between Epic and Apple, which is a little bit concerning because the judge shouldn't feel like a stepping stone since she is literally the very final one in making this decision. It makes me feel like no matter who ends up losing this, if the judge isn't confident, then the loser is just gonna go and file an appeal and try and get a retrial. If they're successful in trying to get that retrial, then we'll literally have to do this entire trial from the top. We'll have to redo all of it with a brand new judge to get a brand new verdict. Ooh, I'm hearing gunshots over here, boys. I think I see them over there. I think I do, but my phone is too tiny to be able to see them, bro. Oh, there he is. I see him right there, boys. Oh, he hit a launch pad. He hit a launch pad. Oh, 20. Bomber. Wondering how long it's gonna be before we finally get that beautiful, beautiful verdict delivered to us and we get an answer about what's gonna be happening with Fortnite Mobile. The judge came out and said that it'll be at least a couple of weeks and actually gave us a date. She said that there is no way the verdict is gonna come before June 7th. June 7th, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, right now, that was about three weeks ago. Meaning that it is possible for us to get this very, very final verdict any day now. They said it wasn't going to be before June 7th. June 7th was three weeks ago. Boom. We're getting the verdict soon. We got a swimmer. Come here, son. Oh, we lasered him. Oh, dear. What was that? Come back here, mate. Oh, dear. I'm getting shot again by the rail gun. Oh, my goodness. Alrighty, boys. Here we go. I'm swimming up on him. We're shooting him. Oh, we got the elimination. That was so lucky, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. I can't even believe that, man. As soon as we get the verdict from the end of this trial, I'm going to make a tweet letting you guys know what the deal is, all right? So if you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you go drop me a follow at HomeGamesYT to stay up to date. We got 15 enemies remaining, ladies and gentlemen. This is literally my first Fortnite mobile game in my entire life, and we might actually get a victory royale. Yes, I know I am being carried by my teammates but hey i'm still trying my best that's all that matters right in case it wasn't obvious i'm actually playing on an android right now and i'm using a controller as well oh the teammates are fighting over here man the teammates are fighting oh dear a teammate went down this is not good boys this is not good i am on mobile and i got a clutch uh oh boys uh oh this is not good man do you see me right now i look like a bot i look like a bot it's because I am a bot. I know it's true. Oh my goodness, this is awful. This is so hard, man. This is so difficult. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, boys, here I go. You ready? Boom. Ah! 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 Oh my goodness, this isn't even fair. This isn't even fair, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. What do I even do? How do I even play? This is impossible. How do people play on Fortnite Mobile? Oh my goodness.